What's up everyone? So it's Monday and it is extremely miserable outside today. It's been raining all morning. I thought what better time to organize my office. Now I did this video back in February. I cleared out my wardrobe and I asked you guys to suggest some charities that mean a lot to you uh, that I would be able to offload some of my clothes to that I do no longer need and you gave me so many suggestions and I did do that exact thing so today we're going to be doing part two of my wardrobe clear out and you don't need to suggest charities uh, this time I've had so many amazing charities suggested last time I'm actually going to donate my tailoring stuff to Suited and Booted who I did that to last time um, they were so grateful and I hope that the clothes that went there last time found a good home we're going to be doing that again for those guys and then I'm going to look through the list and see who I want to donate the sort of like general casual clothing to so today's just all about organization which is very self-satisfying uh, is to me anyway and uh, yeah just tidying up the office space it actually hasn't really changed that much. Uh, my office has kind of stayed as it is. Unlike most things in this house, everything in this house changes bar my office. This was filmed in February and I think that <laughs> I think that everything else in this house has changed in some form apart from my office. It still looks the same. I'm sorry, hold on, Ali, are you telling me that you're not happy with the fact that you have not had to worry at one single stage throughout this house renovation as to what this house is going to look like. You haven't, you just come in and you go, yep, great, and it's just done. Right, there's a hierarchy and the boss, yeah, doesn't do the work. He just gives the orders and says yes and no. Stop showing off in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to go and get my nails done. Okay, looks like going horse riding. I literally just said that on my video. Did you? Yeah. That's jokes. Anyway, carry on. Um, they're, nice, they're nice boots. Jimmy Choo. No, these are Chloe. Oh, uh, my Jimmy Choo ones have more of a heel. Um, no, I'm wearing boots because it's miserable. I know. Miserable. It is very miserable today. But yeah, so I'm going to go get my nails done and my toes done and then I'm having a spray tan tonight. Cool story, bro. So, back into the office. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah, this is what we're going to be working on today. This wardrobe and this wardrobe. Oh, and the shoe cupboard. I'm going to go and get some rails because I need to hang the clothes on some rails. So then we can start looking through to make my very famous three piles, which is, if you haven't watched the last video, a keeping, a can't decide, and a you're gone pile. So yeah, I'm going to uh, get prepped and ready for that. I'm also going to take these covers off of my Velux's because it's very dark in here because I use those when I film my IGTV videos. Just kind of give a slightly more softer balanced light in the room because when the light changes it has quite a bad impact on the way that the effects work when you're splicing clips. So I've also got quite a lot of camera equipment in this room at the moment. So yeah, let's go grab those rails. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crack. We have two rails here and a rail over here. This is all ready to be stacked up with clothes. I'm quite optimistic. I'm going to fill that with uh, clothes to donate. Right, so to start off, we are going to be tackling this cupboard here. So this is primarily my long coat cupboard or wardrobe. And down at the bottom, you'll see loads of sweaters, hoodies. And then I also keep my gym bag at the bottom. But I've actually not been to the actual gym in probably about four or five months. I've just been training at the house. So I need to sort that out. And then the stuff on the floor are just props that I use for my IGTV videos. The box has golf stuff in it so yeah let's uh, tackle this i'm just gonna pop you guys over here boy i got god don't fear none my line busy take no calls feels like i don't have no flaws snakes in the grass cut those off yo squad shitty my this jumper was the sweater that i was wearing in the first photo that lydia saw me in we just keep it just because it's kind of like a little bit of a memory, bit of a keepsake, so uh, that just kind of just lives at the back of the cupboard. And it will probably just live in the back of the cupboard for the rest of its whole life. Maybe in 20 years we'll look at it and be like, oh my god, remember? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You 
you see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. So the wardrobe space is actually pretty big, as you can see. I've managed to get all of this stuff. Uh, it goes quite far back because it doesn't just sit as far back as you can see. It's probably twice as deep. Take the top on the base one. New car, racer, fast lane, pace it. With the boo yard, it's a flex. Now human name from the most recent pickups. A uh, black boss hoodie. They did this like gold edition in store, so they had three different styles of tracksuits that had t-shirts, bottoms and tops. So they had like a zipper, this is obviously just a standard hoodie. I really liked it, I thought it would be good for the plane, good for travelling. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. That is the first cupboard complete. On the floor, you'll see we've organised some piles. So this pile here is all going. Some really nice stuff in here actually. We've got a uh, really cool sweater from Paul Smith, which is like this really nice kind of like salmon-y colour. And we've got a jumper here from Diesel. Love that. It's got like a wolf print on it. And then I've actually never worn this mustard colour jumper. I picked it up from Zara. It's nothing special, but I just decided that it didn't look very nice against my skin. So yeah, there is just some really cool pieces in these piles. There's a lot of gym wear actually down in this pile over here. And then this is the stuff that I've organised. So we've got sweaters, hoodies and knits. So they are going to get filed back in there quickly and then we're going to take on the next cupboard which is this one here. You happy there? <laughs> You're tired when you can only open one eye. Look at squinty face. Oh you look a bit pussy in your eye. Okay, look up here. Look at me. You hurt your eye. Do you need to go and get some eye drops? I think so. You ready? How do you get yourself into this state all the time, eh? Okay. I honestly don't know how she does it. We've got these eye drops because I think when she goes out she gets caught up in trees and maybe even fight another cat in the neighbourhood. I don't know what she does. You're always hurting your eyes. Yeah. Anyway, back to sorting out the wardrobe. So this is pretty much all of my shirts and t-shirts, minus my formal shirts that are in the cupboard over here. Um, we're kind of coming out of the back of summer now, so I'm hoping to shift a few of these. Although if they are hanging up there, it does mean that I do wear them quite a fair amount. So yeah, let's see what we can chop. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. This white shirt is an absolute classic. It's a nice toweling, kind of like beach wear shirt. Got quite a lot of use out of this to be fair, but over time I think it's just lost a little bit of its size. It's not crazy small, but it's just a little bit too tight. I like my beachwear things to now be like really loose and relaxed. So I think it's time to say goodbye to this. I've probably worn it a handful of times because I only really get to wear it when I'm around the pool on holiday, which doesn't happen as often as you may think. I've also got a few shirts that have also served me well. I actually picked this up in New York in All Saints. It's got this really nice kind of leaf print on it. I like the tones of this, certainly for the winter. Blacks and browns work really well with a lot of wintry stuff. Um, and then again, this I believe is from Zara. It's a navy shirt. It has a very urban feel to it. It's quite distressed and worn. I'm trying to make my attire slightly more smarter at the minute. So this isn't something that I can see myself getting any more wear out in the foreseeable future. So this has probably only been worn again a handful of times. So yeah, it's gonna make a good home for somebody. Still fits very nicely, it's got a really nice shape to it. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. 
So just pulled a few more t-shirts out of the uh, drawer here. This is a ACDC t-shirt that I got from ASOS. Never wore it. The Gucci t-shirt. Because I have to be honest with you, this is probably one of, if not the most expensive t-shirts that I've ever brought. And the fit was horrendous. Um, it was really boxy, short, didn't wash well. The material feels pretty crappy, to be honest with you. Um, so I was really disappointed with this purchase. And then a couple of plain basic All Saints t-shirts that I've got so many t-shirts to wear around the house, I need to get rid of some of them. So uh, this one here, the fit's not great on, and this one is a little bit tight. <laughs> Now time to hit the tailoring cupboard. This is where my suits are, my trousers. This is the stuff that's gonna be going to Suited and Booted. If you wanna find any information actually about that charity, I'll leave a link down in the description box below because if you do have any items that are slightly more smarter that you think you might be able to donate, I know that they're always looking for smart black shoes and suits. And so if you have anything like that, even smart shirts, I'm sure they'd love to hear from you. So yeah, let's get cracking with this wardrobe. Catch money like five or four, like it. So I said I'd never get rid of this suit. Um, this is a Hugo Boss tux. This suit is obviously very special to me because this is the suit that I proposed to Lydia in. So I was always going to keep it, but I seem to be keeping a lot of clothes that have association with Lydia and I's relationship. Soon I'm going to need another wardrobe like this to keep them all in. So I decided that this would actually be really, really lovely for somebody to have. It's a fantastic tuxedo. Little cheeky DKNY three piece number. The baby blue inside. So this jacket here is from Dior and I think I had this about three or four years ago. Uh, I really loved the detailing down the side of it. It's a really lovely jacket actually. I've got a pair of trousers that actually go with this. I do still wear the trousers quite a bit, but I thought if I'm gonna be giving the jacket away, I may as well give it away as a suit. That way it can actually go as a two piece. Also, I went on Amazon to try and find some tie racks and I ended up buying three different variations and I found that this was the most practical tie rack. I think it's got 20 ties on it. So there we have it. End result of us clearing out the cupboard. It's not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. It's crazy to think that it was only February that I did this last. It's not the end of its life. It's gonna to go to a new home, I'm sure. And uh, hopefully there's gonna be some good that comes of it. I'm very happy with the outcome. There's something, like I said at the start of the video, really satisfying when you're organizing. It just feels good to get on top of everything. You know where everything is, you feel organized. But then at the same time, doing some good as well. Like it's nice to give back. There's something really nice about it. So Monday has been a good day, even though outside it's absolutely miserable. That's why this one is snuggling up. Look at you, covering your eyes. So although it's super miserable outside, I feel pretty happy with how Monday's gone because sometimes Mondays can just be a little bit of a meh day, to be honest with you. It's all in the head. A successful day for me. So I'm gonna get busy putting all of that into bags. I think the last time I sent the suits off, I got a courier to take those down because they're based in London. I'm gonna have to organize that. I would like to get that done before the end of the day. So it's kind of like job complete, sent off, happy days. I just wanted to quickly take this opportunity to wrap up the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. And I actually want to organize all of my playlists on my YouTube channel because at the moment, everything's just kind of been lumped under vlog or travel. I wanna try and separate it a little bit better. Maybe put like home in and then my home vlogs are in there. Fitness, if I've done anything fitness recently, they can go in there. And then of course, fashion, and then just generalized vlogs. So I'd like to kind of like categorize stuff so it's a little bit more organized. So if you guys like a certain kind of video, then the playlist will suggest those kind of videos and it just means that everything's a little bit more tidier so hopefully this week i also get onto that but i won't vlog that because that would be quite boring to watch <laughs> but anyway thank you for watching and i'll be seeing you on the next one peace you see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus.